So before this video starts, I'm just going to say that my Discord, I have a Discord that everyone can join. It The link will be in the description. It's a really great place to be. Like, everyone's really nice there. I have a couple new members. Mostly the members are just people that I already know, but I do have some people that have joined from my YouTube channel. And if you're watching this and you want to hang out with me and some of my other friends that I record with sometimes, join my Discord. Um, there's a little place in there where you can do suggestions to my YouTube channel that I will most likely listen to. Even, even if I don't listen to, I'll read them and maybe change them a little bit and use them. So you can offer video ideas or other similar ideas, even for my VR game that I'm kind of working on still. Anyway, just join there. Uh, I'm telling you this because in the future, there's going to be a little surprise that when it comes out, you might want to be in the Discord server. Just, just a little hint. The surprise may have something to do with the Discord server. You might want to be there when it happens. Anyway, uh, enjoy the video. Hello Internet, Good Gaming here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. Um, a lot of people have watched my, well just in general, a whole lot of people have watched my other Minecraft tutorial. Nope, go away. Uh, have watched my other Minecraft tutorial on how to move Minecraft worlds from one computer to another. And I've gotten several comments, some nice comments and some not very nice comments, saying, Hey, um... So, I have Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, why can't I move my files? Like, they're just not showing up. So, just to make things less confusing, when I say Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, I actually mean the version of Bedrock Minecraft that you get on your computer. Like, there's the version of Minecraft that you get on your phone, that's Bedrock Minecraft. If you get that version on your computer, that's Windows 10 Edition. It used to be called that, now it's just called Bedrock Edition. Anyway, just, now I'll continue the video now that you understand that. And that's because Minecraft Windows 10 Edition and Minecraft Java Edition are totally different things. So I have both, in fact, um, on this same computer here that I've always used. I have both versions of Minecraft uh, because I'm an OG Minecraft player and I got my Minecraft account before Windows 10 Edition. I got it like way back in like 1.3. And so... That means when Minecraft Windows 10 Edition came out, I got it for free because it was in the beta version and it was kind of garbage. And I remember my really old PC couldn't run Java Edition Minecraft. And that's why I installed Windows 10 Edition because my old PC didn't have the physical capability of running Minecraft. And so I got the Java... I got the Windows 10 edition and saw it was total garbage until it got updated several times so that it was at the same level as mobile. And then mobile got updated so that it's almost at the same level as Java edition. Anyway, I'll shut up now and tell you how to move your worlds. So it's going to start the same as the other tutorial where you're going to hit the Windows key and the R key at the same time and you're going you're gonna to get this little run window. Mine showed up on the other screen that I have, my other monitor. So you're going to get this run window, and you're going to type percent app data percent. So percent app data percent. You're going to hit OK, and it's going to open this window. Now, I have a million different things in here. You probably won't have as, many, as much junk in here. I don't even know what half this stuff does. But you don't even want to be in here. So up at the top, you should see... Your username here, mine's Grid Gaming Ultimate, and then App Data, and then Roaming. So you're going to want to go back and click on App Data so you can see these three folders Local, Local, Low, and Roaming. You're going to want to open up Local. Um, and then I have um, a bunch more junk here. You won't have this much. And you're going to go down until you find Packages right here. And you see a bunch of gibberish and then a couple ones that make a little bit of sense. You're going to want to go down until you see something that starts with Microsoft.Minecraft. So for me, there's a million different Microsoft things, but here is Microsoft Minecraft. Right there. It's the only one. So you want to open that up. Then you're going to go to Local State, Games, and Com.Mojang. Now you can go to... Uh, you want to go to Minecraft Worlds. And there's going to be a bunch of, depending on how many world files you have, there's going to be one of these gibberish files for every world file you have. So you're going to want to open 
up one of these files and look in the level name.txt. And I'm not going to do that because I don't actually know what this is, and it could be something super embarrassing because I haven't played this in years. Actually, probably just about one year. But So you're just going to want to open up that folder and check the level name.txt. And so then you can just make sure that's your world. Now you go back out of Minecraft Worlds copy and copy this world. So I'm just going to do that with this one, control C, or you can just right click and hit copy done there and paste it on your desktop. Now, I don't know why it keeps putting it way up there, so I have to reorganize my entire desktop, but now I can close this and I have this world right here. So then you're going to want a USB drive. Uh, that's probably the easiest way to do it. If you have a USB drive, you probably should, they're pretty cheap. Um, then you can use it. If you don't, you should probably get one, but I will explain another way to do it. USB drives are really helpful, but there are other ways to transfer files. So, you have this file here. This is your world file. You want to keep this. You also don't want to control cut, so it would be control X to cut it. That would, when you paste it on your desk desktop, it would delete it from your world's file on this computer that I'm on. And then when you put it on your other computer, it would add it to there. But if it somehow gets corrupted in the process, which is uh, surprisingly likely with USB drives, but not as likely as you would think, then you just want to keep an extra copy. So just like always have a copy. It could, there's always the chance that if you do something wrong or if your drive is a little bit bad, then it could get corrupted. So anyway, you're just going to want to go into your file manager here. Go down here, you should see a USB drive here or something similar, and you can open it up. Mine is empty, yours might not be. So then you're just going to want to boop that in there. It should copy it again. So now you've got three copies of the same world. That's always good, just in case. So now you're just going to want to take that USB drive. So first you want to close it and go. So down here, I have two I have two monitors. So there are so I have two of these little taskbar thingies. And on my other one there's a bunch of little a bunch of little icons for the running apps. And you should go in there, you should see a little bit of a little USB thumb drive one. You want to open that up and hit eject and it should say your USB drive. Like, it, mine says eject U-disk, and under it, it has USB drive G. So that's my USB drive letter, and so I want to hit that to eject it. I'm not actually going to do it, because I'm not actually going to take it out. So you just want to eject that, just so nothing bad happens. You should be okay with just pulling it out, but ejecting it is the safer way. So now, you just want to take it out, stick it in your other computer, and do the same thing, but backwards. So, like, I would, if this was a different computer, I don't have access to one easily right now, uh, I could go into here, I could drag this out, copying it again, and then I would have one on the desktop of my other computer. So then I just hit win r percent app data percent. Then I just go back to app data, into local, down to packages. Where is it? Is it packages? It is. Where is packages? There it is. Then I go down to Microsoft.Minecraft, um, local state, games, com.mojang, and then Minecraft Worlds. You just drag this into your Minecraft Worlds, and you have officially transferred your Minecraft World. So, that's done. Um, you can move this Minecraft World from any Windows 10 computer to any other Windows 10 computer with Minecraft. So you always have to have Minecraft Windows 10 installed on the computer to get this folder where you have your worlds. There, so I said I was going to explain another way to, do, to uh, transfer the world. So I'm just going to copy it, oops, copy it and paste it back onto my desktop. Reorganize my desktop again. Bam, bam. So there's one other way to transfer it. For example, if you don't have easy access to both computers, or if you're missing a USB drive. If you don't have a USB drive, get one. They're only like $10 for a couple, like, 60 gigs. That's all you really need. So anyway, you're just going to want to right-click on this, and you say, um, send to 
compressed zip folder. I have a bunch of different programs that are all adding stuff here, but it's going to say send to compressed zip folder. You just want to click that, just let it have the name. So in here, you have your folder. Now, the reason you're doing this is because you're going to email it to yourself. So you're just going to want to go into your email program and email it to yourself using, you can, you can do that. You can just send it to yourself. And so then you'll be able to get this file. You go into your email, you write up the email saying, yay, my folder. And then you hit, uh, I think it's upload or something like that, or uh, add a package. I, I, I don't know how to use email very well, but I do know that you can, there we go, add attachment. So it's going to be something like that. You just want to add this as your attachment. If you try and add this, it won't work because it's a folder, but a zip file uh, does work. So you can just send this to yourself, go onto your other computer, and download it, and then put it into your Minecraft folder. And so that is how you transfer worlds. Now, I may, in the future, add a version. Well, first, I'm just going to say, uh, if you have, so this Minecraft version, you probably know it's compatible with Xboxes and Playstations, mobile phones, and Nintendo Switches, and all those different things. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that since Xboxes and Playstations and Nintendo Switches are all consoles and consoles suck, then you can't actually look at their files. And that means you can't transfer anything. You can't take their game, their world files off. If you have two Xboxes for some reason, you can upload your world files from one and take it down from the cloud to the other. But you can't take these worlds, which otherwise would be totally compatible with Xbox. You, just because Xbox lacks a file manager, you can't actually take them and put them onto an Xbox. Same with a PlayStation or a Nintendo Switch. Mobile phones are slightly more compatible. They do have file managers and stuff. But I don't know where their Minecraft world files are located and if it's all encrypted and stuff like that. So I will have to look it up and make a separate video on how to do that if it's possible. If that video doesn't show up within the next couple weeks, just assume it's not possible. Um, but I should have one up relatively soon. So this, just, just going to say again, this works with two Windows 10 computers or laptops or even Windows 10 tablets. And so you can just do this. You can just transfer your files. If you're wanting to transfer a Minecraft Java Edition world to a Minecraft Windows 10 Edition computer, uh, no, no, that's just not going to work. You just want to, you just want to go to the Minecraft website and download another version of Java Edition onto your other computer using your account. So then you can move the worlds with my other tutorial. So I will link that in the description. Um, I'll also put, I also put the uh, the path to the. I'll put like all the folders you have to click on to get to the worlds folder in the description as well. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's been helpful to you. Um, if it has, please subscribe. Um, I looked and only about 10% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. Let's try and get that number up to 20. So just get that number up to 20, subscribe, and so you'll, yeah, so if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when, if and when I upload my video on how to move uh, Minecraft worlds from mobile to PC and the other way around. Uh, anyway, goodbye.